Hey, how are you? The sun's out. Elsie and I can't believe it. It's been raining solid for, what is it, Elsie? Six days? Seven days? What do you reckon? Do you want to go out? I reckon you can go out, yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll unlock it. There you go. See ya. Well, anyway, I didn't make a video to show you the sun. I just wanted to show you these Panzer Faust boxes and stuff that I've chucked in. I haven't finished it yet. Hold on. I haven't finished it yet. Uh, there's still a lot of steps. Like, you'll spend a whole night just working on these little buggers. So, you can see I've nearly finished. I've just got to do a little bit of rusting around the um, the handles and that. You know, put a little bit of rust oil. And uh, it's still got a little bit of detail work to do on the Panzerfaust. So, you know, a, a few little dot details, you know, like... Um, Got to put a little bit of red on and all that kind of stuff and then give them a little bit of a wash but um they're pretty much finished i've done most of the major steps but they fit in really well don't they and they just come up looking really nice like um it'll be a really nice addition to this little trench scene and it's got the mini art ladder and we've got you know the panzer shrek rounds which will look really good and those figures, we'll paint them up and put them in. I'm just sort of getting an idea of how the trench will be set up. And what I like about this diorama is that it's got multiple aspects you can really focus on. So you've got the, the trench there, but you can really turn it around and you'll have more detail up here and different things you can look at and stuff. So that would be the tank going on top and I've got the figures being painted. So they're over here. These are figures that are going on top of the trench. So they're just coming along slowly but surely. Just building up layers and layers of colour and stuff to get those, you know, I'm trying to get uh, work out how to do faces better and But this one's probably the closest one to being finished. Haven't done his gun or anything like that. Haven't really done any of the details. I'll highlight his um, his belts, his leather belts next. Also, he's got a bit of a scarf on or something, so I'm gonna have to work out a color for that. I'm thinking about maybe a, a dark purple with a sort of a mauve wash but we'll work that out when we get to that but the the uh panzer faust that came out of the mini art kit really has set this figure off i'm really glad i spent the time putting that on and doing that you know it has taken a couple of nights just of um working on the panzer faust but it's it's well worth it it was like I also, you know, I got the, this Panzer Shrek out of the Mini Art Panzer Shrek set and it took a whole night to build this, but well worth it. Much better than the one they put in the pack. Elsie's up to no good. So, much better. Alright guys, I'll get back to it, got heaps of work to do, so yeah I'm just um, also working still on the the Panzer 3 by Ryfield, and that's here, so we're just doing some um, just oil washes at the moment, so I went with the 115, and we've got his 24th Panzer on. So that's how that's coming along. So yeah, just doing some more washes. So um, yeah, we've got a blue, blue, really dark blue filter, and now I'm just going along uh, with another kind of wash. I'm just starting to get some more variants in it. And it's very subtle. You can barely see it at the moment, but 
um, you just I, I, I just build up layer of color and color and color color and um, yeah it's never random with me I really place every pigment so that's what I do I hate random I hate it just when people just splash stuff on and then go yeah that's how you do it I, I don't believe in that you're an artist put the pigments where you want them put all right guys i'll speak to you again soon and i hope you have a wonderful day